Oh yeah. She's idling down now. It's been a minute since I've heard this thing run. Yep, she's, she's running good. So you could have a small miss, which I wouldn't doubt, honestly. I think I should scan the codes, but just out of curiosity's sake. Damn, look at that oil pressure, man. It's idling, and that's the oil pressure. Not too shabby. And yes, see that? Ah, oh, yeah, I could turn it. She takes some man strength though, because that power steering pump, she's uh, she's no longer. Damn, but she's taking a while to warm up. Mm. One second, I'm gonna manhandle the steering wheel to get it straight. Don't take much. Once the tires turn up front, you're you're good. It runs so good. <laughs> Kinda scary. I love it. All right, let's see what we got going here. We're gonna see if we have any new codes. And the truck is running right now. It's warmed up. It's just taking a minute to connect to the truck. 
All right. It's not quite warmed up, but it's about a quarter of the way to 210. Nor operating temperature is about half 210. I just seen it jump up a little bit, so. All right, so we're idling about five, six, five, seventy. I'm gonna rev it up. So we're gonna check some trouble codes. Oh. Evap bent valve control circuit open. <laughs> Random multiple cylinder misfire. Well, this thing has not misfired one time ever. I've never heard this thing miss. So I'm gonna guess it's just the ECU probably tripping out from some of the shit I've done with it. Because this thing's not showing a lick of any. And it's showing a lick of any sort of. I mean, it has never. But no, I'm not too sure why that's on there. Who knows? So, uh, yeah, and then there's the evap vent valve circuit open. It is open, but the tank is venting, so it could just be a uh, short somewhere. At least the place where I get inspected, just across the street from my house. They will not scan your check engine light unless the vehicle is showing a sign of running rough. So, that's cool. So you can see the vehicle speed, the intake air temperature. The hood is open right now. That's my RPM. By about 1500. <laughs> it cooled down a little bit. I'm going to hit the rev limiter on here. <laughs> <laughs> 5600 surprised it doesn't have anything on there involving the power steering yeah so you all seen them codes uh had a p0300 in there ran the multiple cylinder misfire they could be thinking that all cylinders are misfiring <laughs> but this thing runs so good i mean it doesn't even have a it's crazy you know it it, it doesn't care it runs so dang good service four-wheel drive that's these buttons are bad let's see if i can get the thing to act up because what happens is it'll act up and it'll actually turn the button off like the buttons will lose power how does if i put it see auto four-wheel drive don't work it's still making good oil pressure I had to top off the oil this thing was low that's my little uh, adapter Deep heat, but you know it's good on antifreeze it runs good if you take this off while it's running it doesn't a lot of people are like oh it's got spew oil nope <laughs> you can you can yeah so if you do you can actually see the lifter that rocker in there moving and it looks like there's plenty of oil up there so that's cool yeah so that's that's nice it's raining out here but now it's my civil duty before i end this video off to hit the rev limiter for you guys It just runs so good. Oh yeah. 
Good old 5 3. Damn that oil, damn 80 PSI oil pressure. Just admire this for a sec. <laughs> and then there's this one. This shit works. And then there's this one. You gotta hear the relay over there clicking. But my window motor's broke, so I got the dang thing unplugged. <laughs> Gotta love it. This is so weird, okay? So, my mileage doesn't pop up, right? Whenever it's together. If I take this apart, though, this is like the third time I've done this because I'm just like confused. It's like, wait, what? It works, but then it doesn't. Because this is so confusing. Okay, take this off of here. This part will pull up the circuit board. You pull up on it and it comes off, see? Boink, there's one. You just kind of go around it and you pull up on it. Uh, this is just the weirdest thing. I've never seen anything like this before. Ever. And I'm so confused, okay? This is off. Let me unplug that one. All right. See this? So, set that aside. And if I take and plug this in, just the circuit board... Okay, watch. Okay, plug it in with just the circuit board and it lights up. It's got 117,350 miles. Okay, but if I put this back together and do it, it doesn't work. It's so confusing. Yes, my mileage is back. I didn't think it went up that much though. God almighty. I thought it'd have at least 116,000. Heck no, she's at 117,350. Last time it stopped working, it just rolled 115,000. Last time it stopped working, now it's got 117,000. So that's how you know it's still counted. But geez, that's went up quite a bit. Didn't think it went up that much, but it went up a good bit.